Okay, day 47 of the Gary Vanderchuk 55 day push up challenge. And Gary Vanderchuk's book is 12 and a half, and it's leveraging the emotional ingredients necessary for business success. And those 12 ingredients are gratitude, self awareness, accountability, optimism, empathy, kindness, tenacity, curiosity, patience conviction, humility, ambition, and kind candor. And Gary struggles with kind candor, but I struggle with all of these. But anyway, he suggests that we do a, a push-up challenge. This is day 47, so I'm gonna do those now. I was at the gym earlier today, so I may not be able to do as many as I do normally. That sounds like an excuse, it is. Uh, uh, I worked out at the gym today, and that's 35 maybe, if I count it right. It may only be 34. Uh, it's not how many I can do. It's what can I endure? Now I gotta do my counter push-ups. Ah!
Okay. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I do the men's 55 day yoga challenge. And if somebody was doing yoga, they wouldn't think it was yoga. I'm doing Bob Bales old man yoga. And by the way, I'm Bob Bales. You can picture my name and remember my name by just picturing me with no arms or legs on a bale of hay bobbing in the ocean. Anyway, day 47 of the Gary Vanderchuk push-up challenge. I'm very grateful for very Gary Vanderchuk in this book. And I bought several copies. And uh, I'm also still praying for my niece's mama who's in uh, the hospital for COVID-related uh, pneumonia. She lives in Colorado Springs, but she's in a hospital in Denver being treated. And I just got word from her yeah, yesterday, a uh, text from my niece saying that her mom is doing, progressing, doing better. And that uh, she had a tracheotomy, uh, a tube in her tracheotomy tube in, but her mom got disgusted with it and pulled it out. And she said that, my niece said that she would be uh, worst that her mom would have left it in. And that made her a little nervous, but again, it's her mom's life and her mom can do what she, she does. So uh, I think it's a good sign that she's feisty and getting tired of that. You know, when you hurt and you get, you, you hurt something and it's, and it's starting to heal, uh, but then you start and it aches and it hurts, but then it starts to ache in a little different way, kind of almost annoying. And so you start getting, okay, I want to move it. It hurts to move it, but uh, I want to get, I want to get it to get better. And it's a different kind of hurt. I think her mom's on the mend, I hope. Anyway, I just texted her and told her, don't worry about contacting anybody or letting us know. I mean, we're glad to know, but she's got so much on her plate. She doesn't have to constantly call. But she asked for prayers. So I periodically check in with her all the time and say, I'm still praying, I'm still praying. And I work nights, so I have the night shift when it comes to praying. And so I read something just on YouTube, a young kid was talking about this. He said that, that uh, he has found that uh, praying is asking, meditating is listening. <laughs> I started to meditate. And uh, I started praying differently a long time ago, uh, not praying for what I want, you know, the infinite out there. Oh, by the way, make make the day change so my car doesn't get dirty. It, it, it doesn't make any sense. But if you ask for your mind to be open and to have a mind shift to where you, your mind is in line with the infinite, with the uh, the uh, divine that's when your life can change and so you pray for uh seeking you pray for openness you pray for asking you ask for all these things what can i do to be better what can i do? and then you meditate to empty your mind because you can't fill a full cup you meditate to empty your mind and to be silent so you can listen and hear to the inspiration. Because when the divine talks to you, it doesn't say, oh, hey, by the way, do this. It's, hey, try this. It's a little quiet voice. And it shakes you to your bones when you hear it. It's like, try what? Try this. Well, what do you mean? Running outside, outside in my underwear and in my bare feet? Yeah. Well, why? Do it. Why? Just do it. So the craziness of it, you do it. And you find out that it helps your immune system. You find out that you feel better. You find out that your arthritis suddenly changes with cold therapy. So meditation has its place. Anyway. This is a long time, nine minute video, anyway. So, stay strong, Bob out, bye. Mm.